So, Callum, then congratulations on making a final. You must be delighted to to get down there and and, and show what you guys are made of against Sunderland and that Papa John's Trophy final. Yeah, it's been a it's been a good journey throughout the whole tro- the whole trophy. To be fair, we played a couple twenty one sides and then played a couple League One sides. So we've played a bit of everything which we're not used to in the league. It's been good, I guess, in the trophy to test yourselves against different types of opposition. But yeah, the finals, obviously, Wembley and everything, something we're all looking forward to. As I mentioned there, you're facing an outfit like Sunderland, a, a club with a huge amount of history over the years, a former Premier League team, obviously riding high in Skybet League One as well. How much are you looking forward to that challenge? Yeah, it's the sort of teams we want to be playing, especially in the league. So like, it's it's good to challenge ourselves against a tough opponent. We've had a couple of tough opponents in the last two rounds, so there's nothing to fear for us, but we'll go there and we'll be going trying to win. Does it give you confidence against like your likes of Peterborough that you spoke about there that you've beaten before, that you can beat a team such as those who are now leading in League One against another team like Sunderland, who obviously are riding high, as we said, but you, you've beaten the team to be shot at at the minute in, in that division? Yeah, I think that's exactly, that's exactly true. I think... In fact, we've played against a couple League One outfits as well. And a lot of the lads in the team have played at that level. It's not anything to fear, even though some of them are a huge club, probably the biggest club we could play in the final. So it's a good experience for us. But yeah, it's definitely, like I said, the game which we're going to go and try and win. Just give us your thoughts then, uh, playing at Wembley, a hugely significant stadium in football for, for all, all through the years, really, from even being it rebuilt to what it is now. It's a fantastic place to play football, isn't it? Yeah, it's something which I think every footballer aims or strives to play at Wembley at least once in their um, career. So to go there early on would be is perfect. So I've never played on, I've never played there before. It might be slightly different with no fans and stuff, but still, nevertheless, it's still it's still Wembley Stadium. I mean, like you said, Dave, it's something that footballers grow up to dream of doing. You've got that opportunity now to go and do that. How important is it that you go out there and, and take that chance with both hands? Yeah, because the experience, there's no point in doing it once. If you go and lose, the experience is, is kind of dampened quite a bit. So, yeah, going there and winning is what would make the experience good in a way. So, yeah, that's that's what we think. And then this competition really is significant for you, isn't it? You made your, your derby under-23s debut in, in, in competitive football, so to speak, in this competition against Port Vale back in 2016. How... How much do you remember of that game? How big of a moment was that for you to to get your first professional game in that respect underway? Yeah, I remember that game quite well. It was a few years ago now, like you're saying. It was especially a good competition for the under-23s at the time because it was quite new then, the competition. To play against men's men's football, it was, yeah, it was a good experience. And it's, it's, in a way, it's sort of it's frowned upon by some people, the competition, because of the way of the 23s in. But... It's a massive thing for the 23s when they can play against first team players, and it's also not bad. It's not a bad thing for the older lads to play against the younger lads and see a different t- kind of style of football. It's just change. It's just, just a different test. Like you said, there it gives the opportunity for youngsters like yourself who, who are in an under 23 setup, but also for some of the younger players within EFL squads, isn't it, that they can come into this competition and, and play a game that they might not necessarily played in league action. It just gives that opportunity and the right stepping stone for future success, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's what it's been from a lot of teams, especially early on in the rounds. Some teams change the teams as they go through the rounds as they get close to the final. But I think especially early on in the groups, I mean, a lot of teams use it as a chance to play players who are on the fringes or not quite getting involved in the league. So it's, it's a great competition for it in that respect. It's been a somewhat of a special week for you, hasn't it? Really, you you've just obviously secured passage through to the final to get to the to the Wembley final, but then also back in league action, you managed to score your first goal for the club as well. A huge, significant moment for yourself. Yeah, first goal, first goal in professional football, really, and um, yeah, it's a great moment. It, it was a bit of a frustrating result in the end, which so the, the goal wasn't as important, but it was yeah, it's something which. It's been rare for me, but it was nice to get off the mark. As a defender, obviously, your main job is to keep it out of the back of the net. But to put it in, it, it's obviously that's something that goes through your mind. You always think, right, when, when's that first moment going to be? Am I actually going to get it off? And thankfully, you did do in that respect. Yeah, especially, especially as a fullback. I think nowadays, you, there's more demanded of you going forward. And 
you got to affect the game at the other end of the pitch as much as you do defensively nowadays. So the numbers is a great thing and it's, it's only going to help. How much are you enjoying your time at Tranmere? Obviously, you came on loan, first of all, before you made your, your permanent move over. But it seems like you're really flying high at this club and you're enjoying every opportunity that you're getting in that respect. Yeah, I've loved every every second of it. That's why I signed permanently in January, because I think I really enjoy my football. It's the first time I've properly had regular football where I've been able to get some consistency playing every single week. So on that respect, yeah, I've loved it. And especially the fact we're going for a promotion in the league. It's, there's a quite a good incentive there and it should be an exciting end to the season for us. You've just touched on it there. How significant of a moment could this competition play in the part of getting promoted? If you, you go down to Wembley and come away with the trophy, it could provide that much needed extra bit of momentum that you need to, to secure promotion to League One. Yeah, I think that's the key word, momentum. I think that's what this trophy has done. It's kept... It's get, like, the people who have come into it have done well and it keeps the squad... I guess has to keep the players who are playing all the time in the league on their toes as well because even when the lads who haven't been playing have come in, they've done well and that, that's that been good for the squad, especially in the league. So, like you say, momentum, if we go and win, again, it's another kick on for something we can go and hopefully finish a successful season. It was somewhat of a slow start for the club by their aspirations. There was a change in manager as well. Keith Hill come in as in former Rochdale man who's, who's probably known for rather keeping clubs up than, and getting promoted. But he seemed to have turned the results around at Tranmere and, and these guys have seemed to kick on under his leadership. Yeah, he's, he's come in and he's demanded high standards of us, which a lot of the lads have responded to very well. And like I said, we're going in the right direction at the moment. It was still... As we know, it'll still be seen as a failure the whole season if we don't go, go up in, in the league because that's the, the main goal. The final is as good as it's going to be. It's still a bonus to what our greater achievement would be. But yeah, so the manager's come in and he's, he's steadied the ship and then we're getting the results going in the right direction at the moment. What's it like for you taking that experience from him? Obviously, he was somebody that played the game on a professional level anyhow, but he was also somebody that played within the back four into similar positions that you played as well. It's it's invaluable experience that you can capture from him going through your career at Tranmere anyway. Yeah, it's massive experience, especially as you say, him being a defender. He knows the game inside out. He's very knowledgeable. He gets his instructions. He's very clear with what he what he demands from players, he, you know what you're, you're going to get, the hard work and there's something he's really, I think, installed into our team. And then what does the, the future lie ahead for you? I know players don't like to make outlandish statements and, and, and big targets, but it seems like you're really enjoying your football at such a young age. You've, you've anchored down a position within a team in the football league. It seems like the only way is up for you in that respect. I mean, that's the, the aim. The aim is to go up with Tranmere and then, as my contract is, I'll be playing for them hopefully in League One next season. So that would be the natural progression, I think, of what would be happening. So that's as far as I'm really looking, to be fair. I don't want to look any further than that. So the sort of next 18 months is all my sort of goals sort of lie. 